I was alerted this morning. I'm doing my pre-show rituals, getting my suit and tie on, and they start interrupting me. Mike, Tate is live. He's talking about you. I said, oh, this can't be good. And I click on a link, and in fact, this guy, Tate, is live. Now, you remember him from the Michaela Peterson video. It's on YouTube right now doing so well. Oh, my blessed videos. 21,000 views, 21 fi Grammys, Superstar Family, We the New Jacksons, and I'm about that action. And uh, Tate's at the end, and we show that uh, Michaela Peterson, remember, she went to Romania. She met this guy, Tate, who's got all these programs set up, and it looks like Tate's influence has really gotten in her head, and maybe he has a hand at this lion's lair stuff that we saw okay so uh this is a recording michael galanis got he says most of the tate stream so yeah i clicked on this link he was live and he was talking about red bar who's the red bar you saying who's red bar where do i find him and i go i'm right here you know you're through i just want to talk and he wouldn't believe he was being very boomery uh this morning not really uh he was faking and he really looked scared he looks scared. Now, Tate, you have nothing to worry about. You are, you have a home here. You know, and that's why I said there was a miscommunication. Uh, no, 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 no. We are, uh, we're suspicious about Michaela, but we really, I like this Tate guy. Same. He had some good ideas. You know, I got hit with a few comments and it might have seemed, even if Tate's watching this, it might have seemed in our video that we were uh, criticizing, skeptical of some Tate stuff. But when I looked into it, I realized that, no, this was the guy that you gifted, gift carded me years ago. Like I said at the beginning, he's actually really smart. He's really sharp. And he's got some great ideas on the men and women conflict. And he's got some great ideas about how to become a millionaire. And he's got some great um, ideas about muscles. Muscles and series and yes. beginner's guides. Free. 100% free. He's giving this stuff out. Mm -hmm. Until later. But... I like him, and I do want to give him a chance, and I think this could be a good platform to promote some of his stuff. I know a lot of our listeners are always looking for self-help, and they spend a lot of money on this they stuff. They want to copy him and make as much cash as him. Exactly, and they, um, they're they always spending money on this stuff. I would say if Tate came on our show, on the next show, based on that appearance alone, because if they like me, they're going to like Tate, he'll probably be able to earn maybe $800,000 just off the appearance alone. Seriously. Like we were talking about the numbers before. I go, if Tate comes on here and we talk, he's going to go home with $800,000 in, are gonna in new customers. People are going to see him on Red Bar. Yeah. They're going to go to his website and then they're going to start buying his courses. He's so, going to make tons of money. So it's good no, for, for both sure. I already had this morning when that was going on, they go, Mike, I got to be honest. It seems like you and Tate are uh, at odds here, but you know, I'd sign up for that course. Thank you for showing it to me. So, um, like I said, we looked at the number. I think at least $800,000 he'd probably scrape up by appearing on the show. So it would be in his best interest to come on. And like I said, I will help promote a lot of his businesses. It's a good deal. He doesn't want your money. He wants you to make money like him. He's nice. Exactly. Exactly. That's chump change to him, I know, but still, 800 grand is not chump change to anybody. For 15 minutes, I can't promise 1.5 million, although, wait, actually, he probably could make 1.5 million. Okay, let's watch what happened here this morning. He was talking about me. Let's see what happens. Now, he's asking more room training academy or war room if you can only afford one. We'll speak to you in the live chat. Go to carpetate.com, message to live chat now. So here he is, and this is his Romanian lair. And this Same is with driving licenses. So he is in this, I want to paint this picture. He is in this giant space, okay? Big, big, big space. This could be a green screen, I don't know. Giant space, he's got the curved couch. We all know from the new Logan Paul documentary that these are very expensive. <laughs> Speakers everywhere. Uh, he's got a guitar back there, so he, he's an artist, he's a musician. I could respect that. Uh, my brother at the guitar. Big, big, big space. And he's sitting in his computer chair. He's doing his first live stream ever from Romania. 
which I might actually set up. I want to talk to him about that too, because I might want to set something up with him in Romania too. Save some cash. Exactly. Okay. So he's in Romania. This is his first live stream. And I got to say, he, and he has no reason to, but he looks, he doesn't look as confident as he does in his supercar, mm. which I want to help him with. Because looking confident on live stream is the name of my game. I mean, I've helped people with this for many years. So here he is. Let's take a little look. Let's see what he says. Correct. You don't want to have one government in charge of whether you can drive or not. You actually want to have, you want to be driving on a different license. And if anyone has time codes for this, let me know. Jules, maybe you can Romania, figure you out. This is 30 minutes. Licenses. You're in England, you want to be driving on a foreign license because then the government, the police who stop you don't have the jurisdiction over that license. They can only ban you in said country. They can't actually remove your license as such. He's even got the music on. Red bar radio deep dive on me and Michaela. No, I've never seen that. Uh oh. What is it? Is it so here it is. He's reading the chat. Red Bar Radio deep dive on you and Michaela. And he goes, No, I've never seen that. What is that? And he looks, look at the innocence in Tate's eyes. Isn't this something? He's a sweetie. Look at that sweetheart underneath it all. So he's been asked, What is Red Bar Radio? Well, let's hear. Let's, I, I haven't seen any of this. I caught the late end. So let's see. Your license as such. I'm a creep. I'll Red bar radio me. deep dive on me and Michaela. No, I've never seen that. What is it? Is it a uh, YouTube channel? He's nervous. He looks nervous. Send here. me this Red Bar radio deep dive thing. Send me the link. Wow. Oh my God. Look at all of his people walking back. There's 10 people walking back and forth with clipboards and laptops, all making sure his investments. He's got stuff going on. Are uh, doing well. And uh, that he doesn't need to, you know, because he's got 10 people around at any time. He might have to dump all of his assets and get the hell out of there. So he hears about this Red Bar Radio Deep Dive. Send me a link now. And look at his face. I mean, I can't make this stuff up. He looks very, very alarmed. And he has no reason to. I'm a friend and I'm going to make him a lot of money. Here. So much shit comes out on the internet about me. And I have no idea. So I don't watch any of it. Have like, wow. seen this YouTube video about you? I'm like, no. I don't watch any of this shit. I ain't got a fucking clue. Mm. No, smooth operator. I've not seen it. Send it to me. He's a bit nervous here. <laughs> I like him. All my videos are hilarious. So he's Red reading bar. the chat very nervously. He's saying the words red bar, which makes me nervous. Listen to this music. Only in Europe can you even get this song. <laughs> He's typing in Red Bar Tate. Look. A lot of headroom because he wants to show off that loft. He's got a projector unit that looks really nice. Here we go. I haven't seen this either, so I'm very excited. Oh, you could hear my voice. Listen, you could hear my voice. He's watching me. There are thousands of comments in that clip I did that say, calling somebody dad is not weird at all. He's watching it. Any stuff coming up after this. We're not talking about people that have been on it for a year. And they're saying, Where's he mentioned me? Ah! As Dr. Mr. Grimm's story again, looking like Kate Sakao. Where's he mentioning me? He's scrolling through. Me. Red bar, blah, blah, blah. Where's me? Where's me? Look at that. There was you. He's just going on and on about Michaela. This is a fanboy. This is amazing. What a tape. Great job, guys. Oh, wait. We're talking about me now. Let's see. Let's see. The thing about this, I don't know how people uh, know about this guy. Mr. Plenty? Is that his name? Mr. Plenty, that's my name. Oh, shit! At Mr. Plenty! I go where I want and I do what I want. I'm like Indiana Jones with a whole lot of sex and supercars. This is possible because I make money no matter where I am. This In is insane. In the webinar <laughs> below, I'll show you how you can replicate what I do. And apparently it's so, so we are watching and we never get this opportunity. This is phenomenal. We're watching a man, his first reaction to me 
saying something about him. We rarely get this treat. You can see his eyes. Did you see that killer dog he had behind there? That dog. Very cute. He bought that dog for 10 million ruble. And that dog is trained to tear people apart. So he's in his luxurious space and he's watching this video. He wants to see who's talking shit. Let's play this out. This is great. Sort of Magneto type of guy. What did they call this guy? Mysterio? Mysterio. <laughs> there was a nice. love guru. Take G. Now, and, this uh, is the guy that she apparently is now, working with. Take G. Uh -oh. There's medicine in the front of the house. How do you know See, the dog yes, needs his true. medicine. This is an expensive oh, dog. This is the guy Sorry, who was jacked yes. off. Yes. She went to Romania. <laughs> with this guy who's got a long history of self help, love guru. He also uh, Look was at a magician at one point, right? He did magician. like a whole Chris Angel type of. He was an illusionist. He did a losing. Who is this guy? He's only got 7,000 subs. We looked at that red bar. And it's a very suggestive, horny picture. Let's watch what this guy is like. Let's see. Come on. He's smoking. <laughs> Look at his face. I love when these videos insult me. It's so much fun. Sorry, guys. I'm not reading the chat because I'm watching this red bar thing. From Stuttgart to collect money for him, but can't collect it in Romania, so driven to the nearest. He's one of these guys, you see this, there's like a million Instagram accounts for guys like this. You want a McLaren? You want a Maserati? Listen, it's a point which is not, so they're gonna believe this. Oh, my like wow. So he That's is nothing. watching almost as intently as I'm watching him watch me <laughs> yep. right now. So that's what's happening right now. I'm watching this for the first time as he is. And he is uh, enthralled with this. I mean, this is uh, this is uh, quite the treat here. You don't get to see this often. Uh, I'm gonna just continue, but yeah, that's what we're doing. If you're listening to the audio version, I'm watching him watch me. Thing to do with Romania, stopping a bomb. Yeah, I sent you. If you is that all that is about me? Lions layer for man. <laughs> see this video. Here we go. Now this you is a talking about me now. Where am I? If you're such a genius, don't you have the it's like with Gavin McInnes. I, I, I don't mind. Is this guy like a liberal guy or something? Uh oh. You thought you could do the proud boy. So we got to work on some imaging here because all of these guys who view my video, they immediately go to this liberal thing. I know. What's to with discredit that? me. They want to box me in, man. They want to put me in a box so they could defeat me. But they cannot defeat me. No, I am not a liberal. A liberal, as we like to call them here. Is this guy a liberal? That's his first thought. Because then it'll be, then he can figure out how to defeat me. Although he doesn't have to figure out how to defeat me because he's very lucky because I'm into his stuff, like I mentioned before. So this is actually a good thing for him. This is all just a misunderstanding. She's with Tate. She's got the lion's lair. This has got Tate's name all over it. Now I'm starting to get a little bit worried about her. Of course, I love how Red Bell echoes through his house. The need to go to Romania to set something like this up. Oh yeah. He's smiling. Who does he remind me of? Like Kai Bentley or Levi Bentley? A little bit. I was gonna say he's Levi Bentley. Levi Bentley. Look at his smile. I actually. Now I have some ideas here for our big interview. And well, what am I saying? I like you. Um, I really like how you smile at this stuff. Yeah. I'm learning quite a thing or two from this viewing. This is going to be quite the interview coming up on our next show. You're not going to want to miss this. She was probably totally fine with that stupid group. No, believe me. Her. She's been addicted to this cash ever since her dad got her established. Now remember, George's kids. You know, he's he's skipping through to his parts. He don't care about McKinley. Yikes. Tate could be his fucking other kid for all we know. Could be. His family. He likes yeah, that. All right. Keep your eye on this. Let me know. I know the Bring Back group has been covered with this stuff. All right. So who's this Scars Club guy? Wow. Scars Club. Does he have... I'm going to ask Scars Club if he wants to have me on for a podcast. Yes. The answer is yes. So, uh... Who is he? How do I contact him? Look, he's got his guy. Red bar. I've never heard of him. I don't understand. What you his mean guys are walking around with guns. 
on straps. <laughs> liberal subhuman. Yeah, he looks a bit liberal. Uh oh. What do you mean paywall? Because he only has 7,000 subs, so I don't know how it works. Do people pay for his show or what? I don't know anything about him. Almost 8,000. I've never heard of him before. I literally never heard of him before. He's a geek. He looks no. like a geek. No! Does he? He looks like a geek, yeah. Take it back. He'll be taking that back. Let's not worry about the uh, insults here. He's does he not he doesn't know what he's talking about here. Does he have Instagram or something? Me email him. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. He has Instagram? Yeah. What is it? I I am more worried about all the guards in his house knowing about me. Yeah, he's got Instagram, boss. Here it is. <laughs> How do they know? You this? need his email, boss. We're working on it, boss. That troubles me. But him, not so much. Uh, now that I see this. So this is an inside look at how a villain finds out about his opposition here. We've never seen anything like this. I thought it would be more slick, but I, I guess it unrolls sort of like this. This is fascinating. Now, don't mind the insults. Remember, when two people first meet, there's a lot of miscommunication here. The best of friends are made after they exactly. start out hating So don't each mind other. the insults. That's a distraction. Okay? Obviously, I'm not a geek. You know, yeah, everybody here knows me, so let's just be cool about all this stuff. So he is frantically doing his research here. You can hear the keys typing. And he has stopped his whole live stream. We're watching this in real time to find out about who is this guy mentioning me. And he looks very concerned. I mean, we're watching him type. We're oh, seeing the... Right. Bang. Email sent. This is like Val Kilmer in True Romance. <laughs> if you remember these scenes. So he's looking around. You should see the video version for this because there's a lot being said with just his eyes alone. He's very expressive. He could be an actor. Ta da! Email sent. Sir. Email sent. 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 Email sent. Now, should I check my email now and see what he said? Because yeah. I haven't even read the email. Let's see the email real quick from Tate. You know what? I should open this on my phone. We were busy this morning making deals. Uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, we're actually launching a line of self-help programs ourselves here, Leasing so it's been very busy. Things. Oh yeah, I've got a. Uh, so we didn't have time to get back to him yet. A very fast car is being delivered to me today, and uh, so I have that. Okay, let me check the email here, and I will read you. He said, "Okay, email sent." So that's what he was doing during that time, and then in fact, I do have um, an email from him. I did see it earlier. Let me find this right now. Hold on, I think we're updating, yeah. Checking for mail. Uh, give that a second. Uh, in the meantime, let's play a little bit more, and then I'll read you his email, and we'll see if we can work something out here. Here we go, I think, I think they're in. Kyle Wade, not the time, Kyle Wade. Janet, uh, no, no, no. Ooh, prison door sound. Andrew Tate, here it is. Look at this. Tate, the subject is Tate. Here we go. Everyone's telling me we should do a podcast after your Peterson video. Or I should do an interview with you over Skype. To be honest, I've never watched your show outside of the video you've made on me. But I see why people think it could be fun. If interested, feel free to think of difficult questions. Don't make it easy. Wow! You got a deal! We'll give you one digital handshake on that. <laughs> That's a general uh, GoFundMe um, reward for a GoFundMe. $5, one digital handshake. Thank you. 
Uh, yes, uh, this sounds great. So we will set this up. Jules is on this already. We will set this up for the next show, and we will have, hopefully, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, Andrew Tate on the next show. Yes. Let's play this out, though. Sorry, I'm <sighs> very, very sick. Uh, let's play this out. Let's hear some more if people are interested. I could move on here. I think people are interested, right? They like this, Jules? What is the spirit of the it. chat? Okay. Let's hear some They're more. Is he verified in on Instagram? Team. Red Bar Radio? Here we go. Let's see if he's verified on Instagram. My phone's up installing some fucking updates. I can't no, see. He's, he's only got 804 followers. See, these guys know Who about Who is this geek? Yeah, 804. This man's a geek. He's a fucking geek. He's a geek. Why are they talking about some shit like a, a paywall or something? Paywall? What You're going to regret paywall? this, Tate. You My warm summit. Uh, I've got an LA. I've got a warm summit happening in LA this week. It happened all around the world. Romania is only in the summer. You should be in the war room, and you know where all the summits are. The war room. Tomorrow. Red bar is live in sixty-eight minutes. <laughs> Send me a link to his uh, Instagram, guys. Let me check him out. Yeah, he is a geek. Wow. Red Bar Scars Club, be very careful, Tate. Is this the real them or are they lying? Let's so see. this is when I got an alert uh, that he was live. So I get in his chat. I start saying, be very careful. You know, which I meant at the time. Now I understand that was sort of a miscommunication. But he's now reading my chat messages. He doesn't think it's me at first, though. It is me. I could verify that. But let's listen to some of the chat messages that I was saying to him this morning. Yeah, he is a geek. Red Bar Scars Club, be very careful, Tate. Is this the real them or are they lying? Let's That's see. me in the chat. Be very careful, Tate. How do I check if this is the real them or if they're just faking? Can I click on their profile somehow? I don't know how this I don't know how this works. Where is this this geek's where is this geek's Instagram? Report, remove, add moderator, hide user, put user in. I literally have no idea how live stream works. Okay, boomer. Red bar is here. If it's really him, that's good. But I don't know. I, don't, I need to check if it's really him somehow. He it's is me. Geek. He looks like a geek. And if you look like a geek, you must be a geek. Rule of the universe. This is the rule of the universe. If you look like a geek, you must be one. Must be. Only I like may call people geeks. So it's really him. Is it really? I don't think it's really him. I think someone's changed their name to yeah, his name and trying to troll me or some He's shit. He's gearing up. I don't think it's him. I think he's talking shit. But I don't know how to check. I literally don't know what I'm doing with this live. How? I click the picture and it doesn't go to anything. Nothing happens. It should take me directly to his YouTube channel. If he's listening, he can message me on Twitter or something. Yeah, if you're listening, message me on Instagram. If you're not talking shit, because I think you're talking shit. And I'm, I'm clicking on their profile pictures, but nothing's happening. So, I don't know. Maybe they don't, maybe these people don't have channels if I click on their name. I don't know. You can't hear click him their, clicking. Click he is trying. <laughs> All of them, though. We will have you indicted. That's me. It's not him. There's no way it's him. There's we'll no way he's stupid enough me. to say that shit. <laughs> that was me. That was really me. Try it. Wait, I don't think it's him. I think it's a troll. We will have you indicted, is what I said. <laughs> click on the three dots next to his message, and then what? Yeah, I click the three dots, and then what do I click? I have report, remove, put him in timeout, hide, or add moderator. That's my only choices. None of them are good choices. Participants. Uh, Red bar. There's a go-to channel about report. No, there isn't. That's what James is saying. This red bar, huh? I don't see so it. So he's messing with people. My <laughs> Yeah, I don't have any options. My options are shit. Apparently he's live Jeez. right now. On yeah, now. I understand. I'm trying to do... Listen, because this always happens. I guess let's tune into his Periscope and see what he's talking about. I don't know about. if anything exciting But I want to go back to this. I, I want to plan this out. I want to Skype call with him, and we've got some interesting things that we want to have planned. We don't want to do this now. Yes, let's wait till he calls in on the next show. So let's show. wait till we do this uh, the right way, because we do have um, some surprises planned for the next show. Okay? And we want these to go over. Okay? Wink! Wink! So here he is. Let's watch out the rest of this tape, and then we'll view his periscope after this.
okay? And then we were going to have him on for a nice civil conversation that I think, again, was a big misunderstanding. And we're going to get to the bottom of his relationship with Michaela Peterson. Okay. It is of interest to us. It is of interest. Let's not be confused by Tate. All right, guys? There are bigger things that Tate is willing to tell me because of our friendship. Do you understand? And then we tell Tate that that was all a joke. Okay. Let me start doing it. To Remember when I did it to Josh Denny? Josh Denny thought he was coming on here as a friend. Just say it quietly and Tate won't hear. We say this quietly. Hey, we like you. We like you. We like you. You come in here. And at the end, you boom, you ambush them. They don't see it coming. That's what we're going to do to Tate. Okay. So everybody be cool. We like him. Encourage him. Okay. I have plans. It's going to be a bigger show than what could happen if we just, okay. They're saying that he's watching live right now. Exactly. But we're whispering. So he's unable to hear Oh my us. God. He's showing you on his periscope right now. I don't believe it. Fuck. Okay, send me a link to the periscope. Shit. If he's hearing any of this, which he can't be, there's no way he could hear this. Okay? I'm saying it quietly for the purpose of just us in them to hear. So, uh, anyway, we were just, sorry, I was just fixing a few things here, technical, uh, just a few buttons here. This take guy is spot on. With some of the stuff he says, and I really did oh think God, about it. There's two guys watching you. Okay. Let's tune into the Periscope and see what we have here today. Okay. Here he is. Tate on time. Tate time. Oh, shit. Here he is. All right. Let's uh, unmute. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've seen that exact God. No! Oh, oh no, 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 no. I owe this guy a bundle of money. stomach out and short dick. Jerking off, watching my girls so, pay me money. Uh, I'll find it. I'm watching you. I'll find your fucking username. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> you want to come here? Your fucking stupid ass beard. Oh no, this guy's hands. Waiting. hands waiting for you. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. This is a huge misunderstanding. Yeah, tell that Tate, tell your guy, hey, come on, man. We don't. Uh... This is incredible. We might just have to Skype now, don't you think? See, he's hearing me now. <laughs> so we are on a How delay. How do I call in? We're basically Skype. We could call in. <laughs> How do I call in? I want to talk to him. Okay, so let's do this. Let's set him up with the Skype. We'll go to break. We'll set it up. We'll do the call right now. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Yeah. Well, we got yeah. him hot. What do you guys think? Should we get him hot? Jules, can you contact? Are you able to get into his Periscope or tell him that we're going to do a Skype? He's live. Tell him this. I'm going to take a break. We're going to email him with the Skype information when we come back. Andrew Tate, everybody. We'll be right back with much more on the Red Bar Show. Let me know if we miss anything there. We'll be right back. Following the people, I she doing well, looking for the devil, I went down in hell and there I found, that a up was a down and a right was a wrong and a smile was a frown, kindness was a sin, to lose was to win, fire burning soul, Satan in control. A rotten egg was perfume, a shy of gladness was gloom, and a cup kindness a kick, and when you held the you sick, and a prayer was a spell, so there's no need to tell, a good woman down in hell was a Jezebel. I perceive the soul of Dracula and Hitler shoveling hot coals down in a pit. Lord, a bread was a stone, I see meat that was bone, a cry of joy was a groan. Sweetness was like pain, the sin was the insane. Lowness was a virtue, freshness is like mint juice. 
A raise of pay was my work. It was in salt was a joke. A sugar cake was the thing. But cat and dog burying. Devil money so dread. A penny was twice the size of my head. Gold and silver was made out of solid lead. All right, I have emailed Andrew Tate. We are just waiting for him to respond with his Skype name. I'll get him on Skype, and then we'll come back up. Sound good? Let me know if he said anything, if he gave out a Skype name or any information, and let him know that I have emailed him to check his email immediately. We're on the air! Body like a goat, and you can see by the throat, so pants on his head, with eyes big and red. Hey, 50 naked females, behind him stroking his tail, why the imps and them fall? The devil was having sport, he just hold any soul with a fiery pole oh, no. and ram the devil poker in the head's hole. Give me a second. Skype issues, of course. I see I was putting my own self in a jam. It's then I started running. Right now, here I am back here on earth. We're an up, is an up, and a dung, is a dung. And when you're wrong, I tell you, you're wrong. Now hear this refrain, oh Lord, never me again. Is white wrong, make me see, dung day for me. Your account has been locked. I'm not kidding. A sigh of gloom, and a cough kindness a kick. And when you're healthy, you're sick. And a prayer was a spell. What is this? Your account has been locked. This is real from Skype. We've detected some activity that violates our Microsoft service agreement and have locked your account. Unlocking your account. Choose next and we'll send a verification. Go okay. Hopefully I could just do this. So we are getting Skype prepared for Andrew Tate. Don't worry. We will figure out a way to do this. I'm just giving up. Oh, he's given me Yes. Okay. Hang on a sec. Skype you soon. Andrew has given me his Skype name. We are working on this. Let me just get Skype set up. Okay, we'll be right back. From Nigeria. Nigeria. Have a chance. She just had I have not gotten with the freedom of my rhythm. In she sexy body, she danced to me. Your music is sweet. I really love the beat, it's the living thing, makes me feel to sing. Yes, we're good. Okay. Hello. Andrew. You ready to go live? 
Yeah, could you hear me? I'm ready to go live. I, I, I don't know what we're going to do with the feedback because I'm listening to your sound and I don't want to oh. feed back on us. Yeah, here, turn off the volume of the live show and just listen to me through Skype. Okay. One second. Is that better? Uh, it, sh it should be. We're good over yeah, here. Do you sound good? I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. But I won't be able to hear the girl, I don't think. so. You'll hear her. Okay. All right, we are coming back from break with... This is... Wait a second here. What the hell? Give me one sec. We are coming back from break with someone that we've been dying to see. What is going on? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Tate. <laughs> we are so excited to have you here. We're such big fans of yours. Now, I don't know if you heard anything during our Skype call or our uh, live feed here. This was a giant misunderstanding, I think. I think we're screwed really? up here. Yeah, you know what? We have been following this Michaela Peterson for quite some time. We saw that you had something to do with it. And I went off in that video, the one that you watched today, and a bunch of people, they kind of course corrected me because they go, dude, you're usually always right here, but you're wrong about Andrew Tate. He's not like what you think. It's not like a scam. He's actually, there's a lot of people that are onto this stuff and they actually like it. It works. So my apologies there for that miscommunication. And hopefully you could give me a fresh start here. We could start over. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. The internet's crazy. I mean, yeah. I, I was live on, on YouTube and someone said, hey, uh, this radio station are calling you a dickhead. And uh, yeah. I was like, oh, well, that's 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 you. That, that's how it normally goes. Typical. I, I that's what normally happens. Yeah, because it, happen it but, happens um, to me all the time, too. They think they know me because I sound like something that reminds them of something they hate. And then they go off on me, but they're really going off on like a, a version of me that they think they know. So I could totally and, and I'm sorry, I, I apologize for for what I did. You know what? I, I'm, I'm very much a proponent of if you're going to be on the Internet, you, you have to be thick skinned. Exactly. I, I don't I don't believe in, in cyberbullying as such. I'm very, very prepared for people to say all kinds of horrible things about me. And it, I'm prepared for it. Yeah. And I don't take it personally. And I think that's the only way to healthily approach the Internet. I think sure. doing the other yeah. way is. Uh, Amen to that. So what we're interested in here, though, is because obviously you just had this meetup with Michaela Peterson in Romania. She actually flew to see you. She she was in Romania anyway. Oh, I, okay. I, I I can't. I'm not going to give away too much of, of Michaela Peterson's business. I know. No, that's of course not. No, no, no. But how did you guys meet? Because it's such an unlikely duo. Uh, is it? I think. It, so. I mean, people just everyone just kind of knows each other nowadays. We live in one big neighborhood. You know, the internet. Blah blah. Well, you were, uh, is, just so people know about your background, you were a former MMA fighter. Is that right? Um, I was four-time kickboxing world champion. Kickboxing. There we go. And, and I just started champion, and then... Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I just started myself. I'm really into it right now. It's really taking the world by storm right now. So uh, very cool to talk to somebody who knows that world. Yeah, it's, it's a difficult way to make a living, but I did it for a very long time. And then... Um, I retired uh, from fighting professionally, yeah. and I ran a uh, a webcam studio. So I was a webcam studio. What kind of thing yeah, was that? What's that? I, I, I wouldn't call I wouldn't call myself a pornographer because it's not really porn. But you know, like the girls who sit on the internet and sit and talk to the guys. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. Well, I had a studio. I had about seventy five girls working for me. Seventy five. Yeah. Oh fuck Are yeah, you dude. So you're like ranking it in. Well, I was yeah for a while. I mean, I, when I fought, I made money, but. I became a, a millionaire from webcam. So, That's what, okay, because I was just going to ask you, what was it that got you started on the whole, because you see the videos, and at first, again, I thought they were silly, but then I yeah. see I see your live stream, you're not faking it. I mean, obviously, you've got the fucking money. Here you are in your house. You've got guys working for you. you got assistants walking back and forth across the screen. It's <laughs> You're not making this shit up. You know? Well, yeah, I like to I like to call myself the most legitimate guy on the internet because I know the internet's full of scams and like you know people rent a Lambo and they say things that aren't true. But I my story is is pretty legitimate. I mean, and it's all verifiable via yeah. Google. You can see I was a fighter and then the the webcam thing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and I, I've kind of ended up here. And then the courses I only I put the course business together teaching people things because it was just questions I kept getting asked over and over again. 
Yeah. So I thought, hey, well, there might be a, a, a service here. And then I put them out and it is what it is. And I was talking shit on YouTube. Flash forward, here I am. Yeah. And but, uh, I, the controversy probably gets more people to pay attention to it in the first place and, and, and have them sign up and stuff like that. Well, yeah, I, I, I like controversy. I think yeah. there's no such thing as, as negative press. So, I, I'm I'm very prepared for the for the for the lion's den. Well, the lion's lair, yeah, very good. So Michaela comes to Romania, and why does she meet with you? What's going on with you and Michaela? Nothing's going on as such. She's in Romania anyway. She had some business in Romania, and when people come to Romania, I'm probably the only Westerner on the internet that they know. I think if anyone came to Romania, they probably think, ah, Tate lives here. This yeah. is a strange place to be. How did she know scary. about you, though? How did she know who you were? I, that's just the world. We live in one big yeah, neighborhood, bro. People know each other. So she that comes to you. Now, did she have this idea for the Lion's Lair group before she met you? Or did you guys kind of work on that together? No, that's, not, that's nothing to do with me. That was all her idea. All so she comes stuff. to you, and but does she ask for advice on like how to make a site that you know is enticing, that gets people... Nope. Nope. Nothing. Nothing you, to do with me. You didn't have Nothing any to, conversation. I know, I, know you, I know you guys are hoping for some big conspiracy story, but really, really, there isn't one. She was here okay. for a couple of days. Well, uh, so, we had dinner, and that was it. So, what we're confused about is we have that picture of you two, uh, and that picture is saying a lot of stuff. You know, there were a lot of people going, "Dude, they fucked. They fucked." She went to <laughs> Romania to fuck this dude. You could see it. Her hair is all messed up. They're, they fucked, man. They fucked. And I said, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't, yeah, I mean, it's it, it, it's hard to imagine a female in my company without, you know, well, wanting, wanting Big Daddy Tate. Let me ask know. you this. How did she look in person? Would you have, you know, fucked her if the opportunity came up? She's a, she's a, she's a very attractive young lady, but we are purely platonically friends. Yeah. And uh, I, I put the picture I put the picture up knowing it would it would send everyone a bit crazy. Yeah, yeah. But, and it did. Conspiracy it did. Now, how does she rate compared to the girls that you usually roll with out of 10? No, Michaela's a very pretty person. She's a very pretty lady, but I, I'm not. We we don't have that kind of relationship. It was not like that at all. She just came to Romania. She said, "I'm in Romania. This is so random." And I said, "Where are you? Book arrest the capital." And we had dinner. That was nice. Great. And you so went no to the cigar lounge, the now famous cigar lounge, where the picture was taken. You're in that outside but fenced in patio area. You're smoking cigars now. Did Michaela smoke a cigar with you? A little cigar. Michaela, did Michaela smoke a cigar? I think she tried. I don't think she liked it. She tried. She now, doesn't that go against her carnivore diet there? Taking some of the... I, hey, I'm, I'm not the expert on the carnivore Of course, diet. of course. Listen, and I don't want to... I am, I, am, I am a proponent of eating meat. I'm not, I, I do agree with a lot she says. I, I do think that meat... I do think that the more, eat you, the more meat you eat, the better. Yeah. I don't know if I'd go as far as being pure carnivore, but certainly the, the souls of dead animals power me. I, yeah, I could agree me. with you on that. It's really all that I eat. Back to rating her, I'd give her a 4.2 out of 10 as far as looks. You're a very cruel man. That's not cruel. That's very high for her, I would say. She's a regular person, you know. She's not show, me, show me a 10. Can you do this with your tech? Can you, like, get a picture on the screen? Show me who you would show judge you a 10. as a 10. I yeah. have never given that number out to a female yet. Uh, on Instagram, there are things that come close to 8s. Eights are about okay. the highest I've seen with the naked eye. I haven't seen a ten yet. Okay, so you're a harsh, you're a harsh clinic. You're, you're I don't a harsh think it's critic. harsh. I think but it's yeah, very but, fair. But We're yeah. living in reality. Instagram's here. all fake. This is the thing with Instagram. I think Instagram really, if you're going to talk about one thing that has affected and changed the modern world in the most different ways, I think Instagram is one of them. I think yeah. Instagram has genuinely shaped the entire world. It's changed how people view beauty. It's changed how people interact with each other. It's changed how people attend events. I think Instagram has changed the entire planet. So I know where you're coming from because before Instagram, I never saw a woman who looked like these pictures. But then you scroll up and down your feed and you're like, where the fuck? Where? It's crazy. But they, they, they can't look that way. Surely it's yeah. all fake. So Michaela comes by. You, she tries the cigar. Now, is, was that picture taken right after she got off the flight? Michaela, Michaela, Michaela. Well, I mean, this is our top story here. We don't know about you yet. I want to know a little bit about the visit. And then, like I said, there's, there's I, nothing. To, there's nothing to say, friend. I, I've told you all there is. She to say. gets I mean, off the plane. It looked like she was wearing her bag from the flight when she got in. No, I have no idea. Maybe. You have no idea if she got off the plane. She was telling you how long did you guys hang out? You're starting to lose interest. Don't lose interest on me. I, I have a point. I promise. 
Oh, there's a point. Okay. There is a point. Uh, Don't worry. I'm not. Uh, you got to trust me here. Okay. I'm how long did you? Uh, ha- how long did you hang out with her for? In total, across two meetings, maybe forty-five minutes. Two meetings. And would you say she's desirable? I'm sure. Well, she obviously she has a child and she has a husband. I think so. Obviously, she is desirable. So a little people. yucky though to you though. You don't want that stuff. The scar. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. I know what you're trying to do. You can't put words in my mouth. No, no, no. I swear to you, I'm not trying to do that. I'm telling you my words. My words are: she's got a big scar on her leg. That's yucky. Uh, her hair is yucky. Her lips are a little weird. And she's got that kid came out. You don't know what's down there. You got that mount. She's a little yucky, and to see her with a guy like you, I'm not. I, I'm not trying to be a dick here, but a lot. A couple of people are saying they were surprised to see you with somebody so standard on the the scale. Well, obviously, 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 everyone knows Tate. You know, has high standards. I'm, I'm Andrew Tate, of course. But uh, we, we, I can be friends with anyone I like. She, we, yeah. we, we met and we had we had a dinner. That was it. So. If you look at the terms of service on her website, it says all payment processing goes through Romania, your territory. That's interesting. So what's that about? Did she mention why she's in Romania, what she's doing there? Nope. Now, I saw a look in your eye when I told you about the payment processing coming through Romania. That did interest you. That that got your gears going a little bit. Hey, well, you know, I'm interested in money. Who isn't? Yeah. But, uh... There's a, there's a lot. Romania is one of those countries that people have the wrong impression about. People assume it's like a, a third world shithole. And actually, you'll probably find that the majority of online casinos, shitloads of Bitcoin mines. Like there's a lot of tech that happens here. They've got yeah. the third fastest Internet in the world. There's, there's, I, I, I'm not surprised that it's going through Romania. Lots of things go through Romania. So there's a lot of reasons for it. Now, why did you move to Romania? You're from Chicago. I'm, from, I'm in Chicago right now. This is where I'm from. Because America is a failed society. Wow. Okay. America, America has failed. Were when, you, when, when were you, you, if you can, ma- if you can marry a woman, and she can divorce you, take all of your money, take your children, and decide to turn your son into a girl and force hormones on him at five years or eight years old, whatever. That's a failed society. Uh, well. If you can't go, to, if you can't go to a cash point at two a.m. without the risk of someone shooting you in the head, that's a failed society. If you have to worry about the police blowing your brains out when you get your wallet out of your pocket, it's a failed society. See, there's no, I, there's no, there's no, I, there's so many downsides to America. And when people talk about the pros, they talk about garbage like freedom. There's no freedom in America. You have to be careful what you say, where you go, okay, what you you're do. You're starting to go there's, dark there's no here. You're to starting to go place. down that dark path again. I, I didn't mean to trigger anything here. What happened in America that you fled to Romania? What happened there? Because it seems like there was an incident. No. No, I, I grew up in America. Then I moved to London. I lived in London. London is also a failed society. And I decided to try and find somewhere which is safe with genuine freedom, which is not a complete, you know, has a happy medium between non-regulated and non-controlled, but also a very safe place that isn't a completely third world. And I stumbled on Bucharest, Romania. I happen to like it here very much. But there was no incident in London or America. I just don't see the appeal to living in a country with those kind of constrictions. So you did not flee. You were not chased out. This was a decision you made based on, this is going to be a better life for me. Romania has got it set up more according to how I like things. Well, yeah, there's, there's, I don't, I really, I mean, I'm, I'm back in America next week. I can, I can go okay. as I please. I come and go as I please, but I do not see any significant advantage to, to basing my life in a Western country. And that's, that's just because the way the West is going yeah. politically, Especially liberally, I, I don't know. I don't know anything about this radio show. I don't know if, if you guys are like liberal. I don't know. If oh, left or right this is a non-political show. We have no interest in that. Is peasant stuff. That is. Uh... It, yeah, it is because 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 all in all, it doesn't matter who you vote for. Your life's the same. But um, my my view on the way the West is going and the things that are happening, I just don't see any advantage to being there. I don't see any net yeah. positive to living in in a Western country. Do they allow free speech in Romania? Where you are? They are yeah, absolutely. Complete they free speech. speech, and I can go to any. I can go to any cash point at three a.m. and right I can get out time. money, and I can count it five times in a row, and no one's going to hassle me. Yeah, we were actually just talking yesterday. Where would we go if we had to flee America? And uh, we really had no idea. This Romania sounds a little interesting to me now. Well, it's it's a unique choice. I mean, it's not it's not for everyone, but it, it's uh, you know Dracula's from here. It's kind of cool. It's kind of creepy. It's it's a kind of cool place. It's it's not that different, you know. They got Starbucks and Lamborghinis yeah. and all the other shit you have in the West. So, but it's are, just all in all, it's a better it's a better vibe for me personally. 
So going back, and this is going to be my last question about Michaela. You have nothing to do with the website. You're not associated with it at all. You just met up as friends, talked for 45 minutes. There was no, you have no hand in this website. It cannot be traced back to you. None. Now you find a link. Good luck. When so you saw her, you know these websites. You're the master at this stuff. When you saw that she was charging $599 a month, do you think that's a fair price? Did you think she went a little high with that? Um, I don't know how much she's charging. If that's what she's charging, I think that, you know, free market capitalism will decide if that's a fair price or not. That's what free market capitalism yeah. does. Well, so only twenty people only twenty people have joined and it's been almost a month now. Would you say that's a success or a failure? Depends what her goals are. Maybe her goals aren't money. Maybe her goals are having twenty dedicated people who are really fans of the lion diet. And if that's her objective, she's completed it flawlessly. Okay. So it all depends. on. So that's all I could get out of you about Michaela. Afraid so, friend. Okay. Afraid so. So I want to let you know everything I was saying was a setup. Uh, I was kidding. Uh, we do not like you at all. Obviously, you're a goof. However, I will say this. Your eyes, looking at the man in the eye right now, they're alluring. You actually, because, you I know, this is all a gag. Obviously, you. you're a fool. You're a joke. Okay. We are all laughing at you. We're going to be making fun of you for years to come. But I'm looking at your eyes. You actually seem like a very sweet young boy almost in your eyes. You're not a scary scam artist. Gotta look at your eyes. You, you know, you almost look like you're going to cry. How old would you say I was when you say young boy? Do I look 27? No, I'm older than that, but well. that's good. That's good that I look youthful. You know. <laughs> so we saw you do a spin. You don't have to worry about us. Listen, we're after Michaela. We're not after you, okay? Hey, I, I don't, I'm not worried about you even if you are after me, friend. I mean, oh, I've had course. much bigger platforms than you come for me, and it's oh, resulted of in nothing but positive. Of course. So. Um, there's, there's no, sit there's no up, fear here. Sit up, clean your room, and fuck off, faggot! Goodbye! You've been punked. <laughs> Get out of here. That was shit. That was there. That was wild. You're still here. That was their attempt at yeah. that was rubbish. You're finished. <laughs> oh my god! There he goes, Andrew Tate. Everybody, very, very nice. Whoa! Hey, I got one. I got him again. <laughs> got him again. Poor guy. Okay, stop with this. Now they're pranking me. They saw my skate man. Okay, uh, a wonderful interview with him. I don't think he knows any. This guy's harmless, man. He is absolutely he lying, though, because Michaela's website was registered in Romania. His... But, wait, but remember, oh. we had that screenshot showing that really? her video was posted from his Vimeo account. Eesh. I don't know. Well, I did we my best. Proof. The proof was in his video. I did my best. Uh, I, I, I actually felt bad because he's trying his best. He don't know. <laughs> he's actually, you know, I get it. On paper, fool, dirtbag. He's just bag, a man but looking for his next You can look a guy point. in the eye. I look Josh Denny in the eye. I go, this is like an unbelievable, like, I, I hate Josh Denny. That actually pained me to have to do that to him. Because you look at him, there's, <laughs> there is a sweetness in the man's eyes, man. He's a sweet guy. This isn't over, he says. Um, I tried to get this Michaela information. There is no information to get there. So maybe what he's saying is true. Maybe what he's saying isn't true. We'll definitely be looking into this. Tate, we have our eye on you. But uh, he does have a sweetness, and he didn't like that ambush. You know, who was the asshole here? Me. Yeah. He was actually nice. And did you see how he got tricked into all I had to Hey, we actually like you. Did you see? Now, that's funny. <laughs> this guy was ready to fight me, calling me a geek before. We were watching it on the live stream. And then it comes his... out, and all I had to do is go, hey, it's actually just a miscommunication. I like you. And he's like, oh, yeah, cool. So it's like, dude, come on, man. His Wake guy, up. his Boomer. sidekick is going to kill us, I think. I'm scared. I don't care. I don't care about anybody killing he us. He has heavy... It's illegal! Theory. Illegal! Illegal! That's the best thing about this day and age. It's all illegal. We were watching, <laughs> we were watching uh, scary stories to tell in the dark. The movie, which takes place in 1968, and the bully at the beginning of the movie is chasing these kids. Can you get me in a leave on uh, while you do? This bully is chasing these kids, and they were going to get a whooping. I go, wow, there's you like in 1968. If you talked shit to a guy, he would fucking kick your ass. There's nothing you could do. Even if you ran to the cop, the cop would be like, it's only fair.
nowadays you're just I am so safe behind my keyboard it's just a thrill just really is a thrill thank you so much I do feel bad for setting up Andrew Tate I thought he was going to be a meaner guy now he's never going to believe me about getting a second fresh start but Andrew if you're listening to this I actually feel like I picked on you and I actually feel kind of bad yeah you know that was punching down I thought that we were going to become friends with him to be honest well I could have gone that route but I don't believe it is the thing. We could have got more out of him. But I do feel bad. I don't want to be a punk ass bully. <laughs> and uh, I feel like that's how I treated him. And I just, uh, it's his fault for falling for it so easily at the beginning. Cause otherwise we could have just argued or something, but he- I was interested in becoming one of his did you see how, girls. Did you see how happy he was and relieved at the beginning of that call <laughs> when I said it was a miscommunication? This broke my heart, seriously. Pay attention to this. At the beginning of the call, I go, you know what? I talked some shit about you, and then some listeners corrected my course, and I actually really like you. And a look of relief came over the man's face, and he smiled. He had a big smile. Because you know what? He doesn't want to be sitting at home. We saw him today going, who's Red Bar? Who's talking? He don't want that. You'd think he could grab some braces with all of the- Wow! Did you hear that? Maybe neck your next- You gotta have teeth, bro. You gotta have teeth. It's just an idea. But I they did have feel bad. Invisalign now. He no was relieved. Be able to tell. He was relieved, and he saw a friendship happening. And then I took that from him. I pulled it away from him, like Wonka did when he promised Charlie all that stuff. <laughs> and then he crashed his hopes into pieces. I, I, I honestly did feel bad, but I had to do the hey, this was all a joke. That's my. My thing. I wanted him to tell us about some of his programs that he has going on. I was hoping you were going to ask about that. Mm. His How long could you talk courses. to the man? Listen, there's a million questions, right? Okay. You can only do this for so long. I was sick. The first half of the interview. By the way, I don't even like talking to people, okay? I have no interest <laughs> in what they have to say. You could all see that in my eyes. And, to, you know, to fake something like this. But, uh, Tate, as far as you and me go, man, do I... I feel bad. I probably will continue to make fun of you and, you know, we'll mess with you for a few weeks here. And uh, that's that. There's nothing you could do about it. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's read the chat here. When he started swinging in his chair after you called him terrible, you got it. I don't like that. I actually don't like that. There's a human being inside of me. I'm learning this right now. When he was going like this, I'm like, this was all a setup. You're a fucking loser. And he starts going. That hurts. You him. didn't have to do that to him. He was but just. I to had make to you do it. For, but we're doing a show here. I know. And, <laughs> of no, course. That's what I wanted to do. But I mean, also the beginning was all a lie. I obviously don't like anything he does. It's all stupid. Wow, there was a guy in here shitting on you, saying that Tate could beat the shit out of you. But now he just said, "Okay, guys, I'll give it a year." Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Thanks, and man. this uh, <laughs> offer goes out to all of Tate's guys. We'll offer you everything off, uh, Tate offers you, plus more for free. You will never, ever have to pay a dime here. In fact, if you come over from Red Bar to Red Bar from Tate's camp, you're going to get our Scars Club. This is our premium content section, 100% free for a year. Okay. No setups and whatever Tate was teaching you, come over to my dojo. I will teach you. I was also, I'm an MMA guy. I'll teach it all. Would Mike's like a bit of a bully. See him? this? I came off as a bully here today. And I want to let everybody know that was wrong. I've learned from this today. I've learned to do it in a slightly different way that makes me not look as bad. 200% <laughs> profits plus a laptop. Would you like a laptop? I, oh, man. Remember his eyes? You saw his eyes. Okay. I just decided he Wait. was lying about Michaela, so he deserved oh, to be really? bullied. Oh, really? I think he was lying. Hmm. Well, he has more secrets about here's her what we're going to do. And what Tate didn't understand, he was being scanned. Now, we kept him on just long enough from a, a psychologist in my earphones said, Mike, we have enough. That tape is going to be sent over to a specialist who knows body language. And he's going to determine like almost a lie detector test what Tate was being honest about and what he was lying about. And we're going to have those results coming up for you on the next show. Isn't this nice? 
And the guy in my ear said there were a lot of warning signs. <laughs> so that's coming up. He was lying, they're saying. Uh, nice take. Guy Jules is right, though. He did deserve it. Tate takes. Mike gives. Mike buys us all laptops and sound systems. He should have read the legal text of Skype. Mike has an amazing specialist. Just ask. Okay. I've got a splitting headache here. That was a lot of fun, though. A lot of fun. I hope uh, nobody was hurt here. I didn't even think he's ever kickboxed, someone says. <laughs> he w Here's Brandon Mueller. He was 100% lying. He didn't have a 45-minute hang with Michaela out of coincidence. Exactly. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to look into this. If he was lying. Now, would you be worried to have a guy like that and Michaela cooking up a scheme about me to get rid of me? You know, we saw Michaela's pretending like this doesn't bother her, but we learned last week, remember I told you this, Michaela left a very nasty comment on my YouTube and deleted it. So she's peeved. Now, th let's say this Michaela, Jordan Peterson and him get together. They're in Romania. They come up with a, a plan to get rid of me. Am I capable of defeating that plan or will their plan work? We don't know. It's Look. all coming up on the next Red Bar. If you click... Yeah, sorry. Let it play out. If you go to her Lion's Lair website and click the information about yeah. her video, and then you search Cobra Tate, it's like... Oh, wow. It's all embedded in the his... code. Uh-oh. So when I said that all the processing was going through Romania, it interests him because he was like, that fucking idiot. I told her to not have that public on the site, and he's probably calling her right now. Get that anything about Romania off the fucking site, you idiot. Jewel, screenshot everything you can there, because I'm going to go to my contact in the FBI <laughs> today, and we're going to have a raid, Tate, because your house, that house Tate was in, it was made for a raid. <laughs> the FBI busted in, looking through all those files. He lied to my face, they're saying. It's called a prank, bro. Look it up. So it wasn't a lie that he was doing. It was a prank, just like I did a prank. It was a lie. He said he was a webcam customer. Mike, isn't Romania full of gypsies who can put a curse on you? Oh, please don't tell me that. Uh, Tate offered three Bitcoin to have Mike murdered. Interpol is coming. The guy behind him was his brother. He's got a great hairline. I like how all of Tate's guys are more mad at me than Tate is. Tate's trying to figure this out. Now, I know Tate has no reason to believe me now. As long as Tate doesn't have anything to do with this Romanian lion's lair, I'll call off the FBI on Tate. Now, I hope I'm not digging in the wrong hole here. But I have a lot of people who know how to do curses as well. CIA well, she Mike, deleted the Romania thing off the website. She deleted sure. the Romania I, thing off the website. We have screenshots yes, of that. Yes, we have it from before. So every criticism I've made about this Lion's Lair website with Michaela, she's gone in and removed. Maybe I need to fly out to Romania to really get to the bottom of this. Sort of a Borat type of deal that I'll do where I trick him again. Do you think I could trick him again and dress up as somebody else and go, Hello, I'm interested in working with you. I don't know. Because he seems very trickable. I mean, what kind of guy would fall for that? It's not my fault. If you fall for it that easily there, I didn't think he would actually start smiling and believing I'm actually a fan. How is it that the stupidest people become so... It's because they don't have like... Like smart people actually can't become rich because they it, their smarts kick in and they go, come on, that would be too much. That's too much nerve. But people like that, they're just the right amount of where they don't have that thing telling them, no, 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 you can't do this to make money. That's not how you make money. That's not fair. That thing they don't have. They are just able to launch 70 rooms. This guy had an apartment, 70 rooms, 70 different webcam girls working at the same time. That's prostitution. So uh, we're going to let you know more about this case as it unfolds. What a thrill. What a thrill. Um, in my final notes, sweet guy. Tate Humble bragged about hosting 75 probably underage girls. This is allegedly in the chat. I don't want to say that. 
in his third world cam girl studio. If you change the privacy policy, you have to notify your customers. Uh oh, we got one! But that is not the alert. We got one! Wait a minute here. That's true, because I get these all the time. Here's an update to our privacy policy. Because, yes, because I've signed off on that. So, Michaela Peterson, we had screenshots. Hey, this is all out of Romania. Your money is going to be processed through Romania. You're saying that's gone. She's changing her privacy policy and not notifying the public about it. Here's the that is an F E E C T H I guideline break. Tate would believe that. Tate believes anything. If I said, Tate, that is a CIA HTC federal guideline breakerage. You'd go, well, you know, I'm, of course, uh, the Western course, society yes, is fucked. Yeah. He believes anything. <laughs> uh, uh oh, I didn't pull up the internet. I plug the internet. That would be bad. Uh, so we'll be calling the FEC and the TTT and the 444. And then I heard later on in the show, people were calling in uh, or saying 444 in his chat, and it was driving him up the wall. He didn't know what 444 was or Italy. Do we have Italy. tape of that? I, it might be at the end of that other tape, but I don't know. <sighs> Let's look at that tape. Can we? Do you mind if we watch? I know this is a tape-heavy show here. We might not get to our Tony Hinchcliffe expose. Oh, no, we're not, definitely not. <laughs> I didn't realize how much time we had spent. Well, this is wonderful, I'm though. Sure this we is saw better. the best part of the video that we watched. But don't you want to hear the 444 oh, yeah, Italy right. part? People were writing Italy in the chat, and this guy's so dumb. He keeps repeating the word Italy. <laughs> I hate to keep saying he's dumb. I feel awful that I did this to him. I feel just terrible. I might go to Romania and make up with him. Smoke a cigar together. I might. And he would allow. That's how fucking nice he is. This is why he's different than me. He would break bread with me again. Whereas I would be doing a setup. So. He's better than you, that means. Yeah, I think so. Can I have the link again to his video and we'll open this up here on the day of this expose? Jules. Yeah, I'm sending it. Okay. Here you go. Did we cover his spin? No, we're going to do this. Uh, I'm calling my local police about Tate. Don't scare him. <laughs> He's been scared. He's gone through too much this morning. I feel awful. Remember when he was like, you have all this tech now. Exactly. Why does everyone think I have tech? Because of this? It's $400. It's a mixing board. <laughs> this is a stock computer. This is an iPad. That's a TV. What's the big uh, hoopla? -ha? All right, let's cut to, let's see if he's doing this stuff here. Now, he's going to talk about how I have no upper body strength in this. It's not true. So when you hear that part, block it out. Lock it out, I say! All right, here he is. Uh, Benata, it kills me seeing him, to be honest. I don't know. I'm going to type it now. Here he is. This is from earlier. It's nice that he dressed up in a leather jacket for his he interview with you. Up. He goes, he go Alfonso, my leather. And then that guy brought out his coat and draped it over him. Yeah. And they put it on him. I could, I'd like it Alfonso around I the house. Might, why not? Let's just become corrupt and go live with him and be friends with him. I know. He's, He's looking happy. for friends. Why are we hating I him? I could have been his best friend within a day. I know. A day. He was so excited that he finally found somebody that thought like him, looked like him, had the strength of him. And then it all went down the drain. Uh, let's watch the end of this. Here we go. He waxed his head. Just, yeah. <laughs> Nothing makes sense on YouTube. <laughs> this is how it goes. You just go with the flow. 444. Four, four. Four, four, four. Oh, is this... Is this is this uh, numerology people trying to numerology me? Ah, they might. Is this numerology people? Six, 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 four, four, four. Four, four, four. One, two, three. It's a troll one, number. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. Why are 227 people typing numbers? Gary people have nothing else Gary to do. Gary people have nothing Gary else to Gary. do. Just accept it, Gary Gary. And the guy behind him is going to say something real mean. He goes, I would never watch anyone live. Only losers do that. We should have asked him. Tate, you're trying to start a live stream. We yeah, should have no. asked him to give us a full tour of his mansion, at least. There could have been a million things we could have done. I was trying to get to the reveal. You see. You know. What's going on? That could have been a 40-minute interview. How long was that? It, it wasn't was, that long. It was grueling for me. <laughs> I know. I felt bad for you. Thank you. Finally, somebody feels bad for me and not just the sucker. Listen to this. You have nothing else to do with life. It's like just the most crazy. Four, four, four. 
six 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 four. I guess the four 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 is gonna somehow get me. It will. It the numbers did. are gonna get me. They're gonna be getting you. They got you. I have no idea what's going on. Shit. Four four four. Is there a number worse than that? I don't know. Is four four five worse or better? It's worse. Maybe four four three. It's our new number the coming up. Get, I don't understand. I don't understand what's happening. Watch this coming up. This is funny. He's hey, reading his chat. Fan, love your channel. Best course for wealth. Bro, go to the live chat. We're going to help you out. We're online now. Come to the live chat on kobetate.com. You can barely help yourself, Italy, sir. Italy, There's Italy, no Italy, kids you're helping. Italy, Italy, Italy. Everyone's typing Italy now. Listen to this. Italy, 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 he says. Everyone's typing Italy. Sounds like you really have a handle on this wealth stuff. We're online now. You know, there's something so funny about bothering millionaires and showing that they're actually weaker minded people <laughs> yes. than us. It really is crazy. I want to start a series where I bother like 57 year old rich white guys. You know, not political. Don't look at this the wrong way. But a man, those guys never get I say this all the time. Like every time we go out to a steakhouse, there's tons of them. They haven't been bullied or made fun of in 40 years. They would have no idea how to handle any of it. It would be so thrilling. And I love thrills. Uh, let's hear him read the Italy, Italy, Italy. Another inside joke from, uh, I guess we are pathetic nerds compared to him, but uh, check this out. <laughs> Italy, 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 Italy. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know. None of this makes none of this makes any sense. <laughs> none of it makes any sense. He says. Peace and protection, bro. Okay. They're protecting you from four 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 guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys. There's a battle going on, and uh, I cream pied. I cream. I cream pied a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! He's spinning. He's spinning. Numerology is attacking me. Italy is attacking me. No, I think Italy is defending. Italy is defending me from numerology. You can't kick box your way out of this one. Useless skill. This kicking. None of this makes sense. I don't understand. Why are you? Why are you numerology? I don't know. Nothing makes sense, bro. Uh oh, here's that assistant. Look at this guy. Now he's not gonna let me talk this shit. This guy is. Woo, he scares me. That's these it. hands. Ah. Two of these fucking hands will shut these motherfuckers up. Whoa! Two of these fucking hands will shut these motherfuckers up. I don't want the hands. So this guy is who I gotta worry about. But if this guy was coming at me, I could sweet talk Tate in the nick of time and make him convince that guy to stop. You think so? Yes. He all has another guy whose job is to just hold that guy back from a fight. All you have to do is tell Tate, Tate, I was kidding about kidding about hating. It's all been a joke. Let's start over. And he'll be like, guys, back off. He's good. <laughs> I could work my way into Tate's soul. But that guy, no. Somebody will have to. I might need Danny Woodward to come with me to defeat him. <laughs> I'll handle Tate. Danny Woodward could work on him. Infinity. There's a fucking new home. They're saying that that I is his brother. Out. Of course. They're all his brothers. Oh, yeah. You know, I, yes, I believe it 100%. Doesn't make him any less deadly. You see those hands? How to make my streams really good. Like, I can put adverts in and edit yeah, that yeah. shit. Play some chess games live. Next James. Yeah. Enough with this internet shit. Let's get back to the streets where the real money is. So he said, Yeah. Enough with these online games. And you know what? They're going to take the power away from Tate one day. They're going to turn on him, I could tell. They're sick of this computer shit. They want to be back on the streets at the strip clubs. Doing yeah. real business. Not this shit. Because I want to play my WRTA out of the fuck are all these people? Look, why don't people have lives? I've never watched anyone's live YouTube stream. Okay, well, Tate is trying to start a live stream for all the people to pay you money to live this luxury lifestyle, so maybe don't knock them on the stream. That's what Lady A did, and look at her now. 
that wall also out of Romania has been plastered over so many times from that guy punching. A oh hole my in the god! Wall. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. There's two wall holes right there that I can see. I th- yeah, this guy shoots guns at his own walls. Let me see if I can once again show my screen. But when I try to show my screen, it does this, and I don't understand. Why what a boomer, huh? This guy must be seventy. <laughs> Woodward is itching to kill. I don't know. That guy could kill Woodward. I might be feeling the four four four. I don't know. They look pretty even to me. Yeah, but this guy's got like a gun. And... <laughs> Properties. So he's adding a browser source. Does that work? Ta-da! Yeah, I wanted I to ask him why browser. he, where he got this accent if he was born in Chicago. Yeah, there's a lot but I knew of st- he would just questions. Say he got it from London. Again, I don't want to, uh, you know, grill him too hard. I feel uh, there's a real kind soul in there no, somewhere. I don't like him. Hmm. I don't think he's kind. No, not kind to your kind. Maybe it's pretty cool to me. Maybe I'll learn a thing or two from this guy and start being more of a pickup artist. It's up to me. It's up to me. Okay, uh, that was incredible. Thank you for all for putting that together. I guess we got to give a special shout out to Thomas Wojewski. Yes. Our newest Red R. He actually uh, clumsily put all this together by accident by just being so stupid. No. This all happened. Yes, that's what happened. (laughs) He's a great guy. I love Thomas Wojewski. I didn't say he wasn't great. So thank you all for all those setting that up this morning. Uh, it turned out to be a great uh, content for my show. And, uh, you know, just rolling over more people just for a quick cheap laugh. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it.